Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be making wanimes with camarones. Wanimes with shrimps. So what I'm going to be doing now is just cleaning the shrimp. That's it really. So and afterwards I'm going to be doing the, the wanimes and I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that. I believe I've done it. I'm just trying to leave it. Yeah. Sure I have. So. It's a peel. It's a peel. It's a vein. And clean these. But it's necessary, you know? Yep. I mean. Yeah. So my husband is going to cook the shrimp. I'm going to clean them. He's going to cook them. And I'm going to do the one he is. It's done. Okay. Yeah, that is the vein. That's what you want to clean on. You want to clean this out very well. Because this is not cute. Uh -uh. Not at all. Look at that. So how are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are all doing great. I started the video um the other day when we went to Third Avenue to my mother-in-law's house. Very interesting video. It was mostly showing the surroundings. A little vlogging. It had been a while since I had been on there, you know, Third Avenue. The truth be told, I don't like going over there. I really don't. I love my mother-in-law. I, I truly do. And I miss her, so... I do go over there, but... I shouldn't have to. So, yeah, there we go. See that? That all has to go. Yeah. That is no bueno. Mm -mm. I learned how to clean fish and shrimps and all this. Let's see who in Puerto Rico. That's what I learned. That's one of my uncles. When he said, may he rest in peace, Moses. He had a fishing boat, like a little yacht, actually. And he would take me with him. I loved it. I don't know if I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I did not want to come back. <laughs> Every time we went to Puerto Rico, it was an issue with me. Yeah. Like, We'd go to the island and I didn't know how to act. I wanted to stay there. Well, you guys have seen my surroundings, right? Can you blame me? Like, really? Like, who wants to leave paradise? Come to this dump. Come on now. Can't blame me. But yeah, things will get better. I have faith in God. I do have faith in God. I was talking to my, one of my granddaughters yesterday. And, you know, I get inspired by my grandchildren. I really do. They're a great source of inspiration. What in the world is that? Okay. So, yeah. Um, it's, um, two bags of these I gotta do. And um, I'm going to do one more. <laughs> I'm not going to have you guys sitting through me cleaning two dozen shirts. Boring. So, what I'll probably do is after this one, so just peel, peel the shrimp, rinse it, make sure the little legs are gone and everything. You take it down the back. 
make a slit straight down the middle of the back like so just like that and then you do vein there it goes okay i got it and you do vein it i also run it under the water because it'll wash away a lot of the and what it doesn't wash away i just go in and remove it myself yeah, what I'm gonna do after this one is I'm gonna go into speed mode. Speed it up. Yeah, I'm not gonna have you guys sitting here while I do all these tricks. It's gonna be too boring, you know? I'm hungry too, and if I open the smile, I've done my shake. The quicker we eat, you don't need to change the for tomorrow. Okay. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Thank you, yeah. bye. Okay. okay, baby. I'll let you know. He's so sweet. Yeah. He helped me um, kill the last of the shrimp. It's a sweetheart, I'm telling you. A couple that cooks together stays together. A couple that prays together stays together. Also. Okay, we have our pot with water in it. Let's see. We got the fire going on that. Like so. Comes to a boil. And there in this bowl. I'll be placing the flour, oil, and the salt, along with some water. I got the salt in the bowl. Add salt to the flour mixture. And when the water comes to a boil, add some water. Put some olive oil in there. It doesn't have to be olive oil. That's just what I'm choosing to use. Now I nearly forgot to the flour and salt mixture before I even add the olive oil and the water. I'll add a little bit of turmeric, just a little bit. A teaspoon full really, that's it. And as you see, you can't even see it anymore. Mix that in really well with the salt and the flour. I do it for the benefits. Okay, that's what I was waiting for, a rolling boil like that. Take at least one serving spoonful. Throw that in there, as well as some olive oil. Oh, maybe a tablespoon. Okay, I went ahead and added two more of those serving spoonfuls. And I have to work this into a dough. So, hold on one sec, okay? I have to mix this up and then knead it like a dough. I'll show you guys right now. Okay. As you can see, it's going to come together. If I had to add more flour, I will, but just for now, it looks good. Just have to keep mixing it well. 
thing to do now is just to knead so it's all combined. So look at this, it's dough. And once I'm finished kneading it, I'll show you guys what I do after that. You see, it has a nice soft yellow color. That's from the turmeric. So now that we have that nice ball of dough, we'll pinch them off. And first I roll it into a little ball, and then I start rolling out the shape. Like such. And this is what we call Juanimas. I learned how to make this in Puerto Rico. And what you do with the Juanima is that same water that was boiling. Well, how do you know when it's done? It starts floating. It will come up to the surface. But yeah, that's how you um make Juanimas. <laughs> The other one is still down there, and there goes the other one. I'm not going to keep showing me place them in the pot of boiling water. When they're done, I'll show that again. So yeah, there goes the other one, and in the pot it goes. And so on and so forth, and just keep going like that till you're out of dough. So, yeah, when my husband comes to cook the shrimp, I'll come back. And there we go. I put a little image. And I'm going to lower the flame on this. Just to tap it. There you go. See? And those are our wanimas. Yum. Okay. Hubby put in some adobo and shrimp. And now some garlic powder. A little bit of garlic powder. Yeah, because we have the garlic mashing up, which is uh, oh yeah. This is the way I put, make sure everything has. Put the top on flavor. it and then That's shake it right it. on up. There you go. Perfection. <laughs> oh, the beautiful so garlic and olive oil. oil. Nice. That's a nice amount. Because the jar it comes in, it comes in more chunky. I work it into a paste. I'll show you guys later. Anyways, okay, let's do it now. Well, this is how it comes in the jar. See, it's minced, but it's minced on the chunkier side, see? So I work it into a paste. Oh, and Mama forgot about the sofrito. Beautiful shrimp. What? What? I like they got it to, you know, cook a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, they got to cook. I'm just going to add a little tomato sauce to the mix. Oh, oh my goodness, it smells so good in here. A little water. Mm -mm -mm. Move it around for you a little bit. There we go. A spoonful of sofrito. Spoonful of sofrito. Next All right. It's hot. <laughs> Not too fast. Look, it's already melted. Little butter. <laughs> it's already gone. gone yeah. I tried to come as fast as I could. But... Fast. Yeah, he put, put in a somewhere. nice chunk of butter, but it melted oh, really quickly. It's time to put this because I don't want it to dry up, so it's time to put this in there. You have to resist those, these shrimps. Do it with a lot of shrimp. That is what it's up. That's what it's all about. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness. What a beautiful sight that is. I don't want to dry up the sauce. 
Adding extra butter, I'm telling you, this is a man after my very heart. What am I saying? He won my heart many years ago. <laughs> right, honey? Sure. I just keep winning it. <laughs> yes. This is a win-win situation over here with the me and you. Gives it a nice uh, oh, that flavor. Extra, yes. That extra, extra. Let's put it on the top and it starts melting in it. Yes. It gives it that amazing flavor. You could never go wrong with butter. No. You don't want to overdo it either, but it starts melting in the But just enough to get that flavor, you said? Yes, just enough to get that flavor. Now the hubby is plating it up. We was chefing it up. Now he's plating it up. Oh my goodness. See that delicious sauce? Some of that poured on top. That sauce is life. <laughs> mm. Okay, this is it. This is our guanimes with camarones. Guanimes and shrimps. Mm. <laughs> okay, so this is how it turned out. It smells heavenly in here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. And yeah, till next time, don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, hit the notification bell, and share if you'd like. And till next time, God willing, stay blessed, beautiful, child, and buen provecho.